Hello, I am your magnificent King Troy, and I'm just gonna try doing this here video, um, like, uh, I've all kind of wanted to do with some of these recent pickup videos, you know, so, why not? Anyway, oh yeah, by the way, I'm not in my normal place, I'm in Florida. Well, um, first I'll start with the thing that I got, um, not at this flea market, but at a store, um, David Bowie's latest album, Black Star, listen to it, not bad, pretty good, pretty good, sure it's pretty weird, but hey, it's David Bowie, it's David Bowie, he's, he was weird. Yeah, whatever. And now we're getting into some of the stuff I got from the flea market. Uh, sorry. Yeah, there's an awesome flea market here down in Fort Myers. Like, uh, there's only like three video game shops, but recommended because one of them does get some good stuff. First of all, Game called the Battle Hunter. I never heard of this game and before I bought it. It's pretty bland. I wish I should have known about it before I bought it. But it's a multi-tap game. Yes. You know that thing? The thing that allows you to play four players on the original PlayStation? I don't know how the heck that'll work, but I'm going to have to get myself a multi-tap. Whatever. Um, heard this one was good. Medieval 2. Never played a medieval game before, but I saw this for sale at one of those, like, at a vendor at the flea market. And, uh, I actually tried it, and it's pretty good. Yeah. Like, uh, play as an undead character trying to, what, what the heck am I explaining this to you guys? You probably know what the heck this is. Like, it kind of plays to me like Zelda or any other type of game, I think. Well, uh... Well, next. Guardian's Crusade. I don't know much about this thing besides an, it's an RPG. Play it? Not really that bad. Not bad. Like, um... This cost me like 25 bucks. Not a bad deal for this thing. And, uh, the, the weird thing is, to me, is, is it? The disc is pink. Oops, crap. The disc here is pink. Why? I don't know. What a frickin' pink disc. But hey, like, uh, I'm a guy who tries to find good old RPGs, and... I don't think I'll enjoy this thing. <clears throat> Finally, for the games, is a uh, Lufia The Legend Returns, if you can see this. Um, this is like the third of the Lufia games. Yes, yes, there's three games, not just the two on the Super Nintendo. And uh, pretty much takes place a hundred years after the first game. Though, I wish I could play this thing more because the Game Boy I brought with me, unfortunately, is crapping out on me, so I'm going to have to get, get that thing replaced. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> now we're getting into the good stuff. Well, some uh, weird stuff. Um, this is one of the movies I've always wanted to own. But it is just the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, well. Pink Floyd's The Wall movie. Yes, this was a movie. The entire soundtrack is, of course, Pink Floyd's The Wall. All you can say is this. Do you like Pink Floyd? Yes. Do you like their music? Yes. 
Do you like weird freaking bull crap? Uh, well, I'm going to say this. If this does not scare you, then buy it. It is a good movie in my opinion. It says this. Do not watch it late at night unless you're one of those weird people. <laughs> and finally, what I picked up recently at the flea market was Ted Nugent's Cat Scratch Fever. <laughs> you might be wondering, why is it making this face? Yep. When you make the same face, if that was clawing on your back? Well, what can I say? It's Ted Nugent. It's an album. It's pretty much one of the best songs ever made. Cat Scratch Fever. Why not? That was only five bucks anyway. Well, that's pretty much it for the pickups. Kind of wish I had more stuff to talk about, but whatever. If I will do another video of this once I get another horde. Well, until next time, I am your future king. <laughs> Later.